who's come on the street and preach his word. I don't preach for the money. Praise the Lord. I preach to see souls get saved because Jesus is coming again and we must be born again of the water and of the spirit or we cannot enter to the kingdom of God. I grew up preaching the gospel since I was six years old and preaching in church revivals. But the Lord told me to come on the streets. Started preaching on the street when I was 12 years old on the streets of the South Bronx and in Harlem where I was born at. Now I moved here to New Jersey. Only been married for two years to my wife Priscilla. God had me preaching up in the hoods and up in the streets, on the street corners and the bus terminals. Thank God souls are coming to Jesus and there are those who don't want Jesus. There's those who curse that God, but that's their soul. Certain enough ain't going to heaven cursing that God. That's the reason why the world is in the state it is in now because people are rebellious against God. People are cursing at God. They're not cursing at the devil. They're cursing at God. They're having money Gras up in New Orleans, women showing their breasts, producing lust in the streets. Folk doing devil worship and worshiping idols and Baal, and statues. Same thing Israel did back in the days of the Bible days, the days of Moses, the days of the prophets. When God sent the prophets to warn Israel and said, repent. Instead, Israel got mad at God. I don't ever want to make God mad. God turned them over into slavery because they kept doing devil worship and witchcraft and offering up little children to the devil, doing idol worship. When God told Israel, thou shalt not have no other God before me. But when we turn back to God, you'd be surprised how God will bless you. No, we're not perfect. We all get flaws. We all make mistakes. But if you just be humble and say, Lord, I need your help. I'm tired of being depressed. I don't know what to do with this depression. You don't got to take no drug relapse. Just sit in God's lap. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. You'd be surprised how God will talk to you. You'd be surprised how God will bless you. You'd be surprised how God will heal your broken heart. He'll turn your tears into joy. Hallelujah. You're somebody special. Somebody needs to know that because you never got encouragement growing up. Your father cursed you out. Or your father disowned you. That hurts. Jesus can heal a broken heart. He can do it right now. We're praying for you this morning. You can have a conversation with God wherever you are and say, Lord, save me. Fill me with the power of the Holy Ghost. I repent from my sins. We all have sinned. We all had messed up at one time, but you can get back up and Jesus can save your soul from a burning hell. We already going through enough hell here on earth, but there's a place called paradise, heaven, with no more dying. 